Hey guys, JC here. Um, I'm going to show you guys in this video how to make a barbecue squirrel sandwich. So, um, come over here and I'm going to show you right here what I got. Squirrel that's been in the uh, in the crock pot for uh, about four, um, a little over four and a half hours. Um, you can see it's nice and uh, nice and tender right now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this over here. Kind of. see meat is pretty much uh, ready to go but I like to throw it in the oven a little bit so as you can tell uh, at this point we're just going to start pulling the meat off the bones start getting it all off there I mean this stuff literally falls right off guys and there's not a ton of meat on the uh, on the arms and stuff you can see right here I mean I'm, I've already done the <laughs> the front arm right there and I've gotten just about everything there is to get off of here um, so. so obviously there's not much right there for the front arm so I'm just going to keep doing this and as I said I mean this is taking a little bit of a little bit of squeezing, not much. I mean, this stuff falls right off the bones. This, this is real tender meat. This even smells like uh, like chicken. I mean, this is this is excellent meat, guys. Um, so, just want to keep it going. Keep that meat going. Takes a few minutes just to get it all nice and nice and peeled off. Okay, now I got all that. You can see I just got you know some bones left here. Now we're gonna do the back legs. Ooh, back legs are good. Lots of meat on there. Lots of good and ready meat. Now the only downside to what I did here was the fact uh, ooh, that's a little bit neat. It's the fact that there just was only one little squirrel. Now. The downside is the fact that I had to wait so long to get so little food out of this. The upside is that smaller squirrels, younger ones, uh, have a lot more tender meat. And as you can see on this one, the uh, back leg didn't take as long to peel um, because uh, it's in much bigger chunks. You can see it's just a bone. So you just kind of keep this going right here. And I would love to edit these videos so that you guys didn't have to watch all this. You're more than welcome to jump forward um, if you'd like, but uh, I'm not super great at editing these videos, so I, I just prefer not to not to get in too much of a deal about them. I'll just go ahead and record the whole thing because this doesn't take long. Now this is one of my favorite parts, is the back meat. Like I said, this stuff, it just comes right off. You just start pulling this meat right off. This back meat, it's excellent, excellent meat. Now, as you guys can tell, that was a very small squirrel that I got. Got a little bone in there. Gotta make sure you just, make sure you don't get any of these bones, because some of these bones get a little small, and uh, you don't want to be eating one of those. Um, so, that one's got a couple of little bones in it, so I'm going to discard that. Um, 
Yeah, you just, you can just peel the meat right off these bones. I mean, that's just excellent. Excellent stuff. And for those of you interested in, uh, in anatomy, of, uh, at least animal anatomy, this is a really good way to get a, get a good look at, at this stuff once you've, if you've done this, I mean, this, like I said, this meat falls right off, and then you can just kind of ex inspect it and look at the different bones and the structure and everything. And it's, personally, to me, it's kind of cool. Um, this, this squirrel is not going to waste, and you're getting a lot more than you would if you were just cutting this off yourself. Alright. That's about all the meat I'm going to get off there, but as you can see right here, it's a good amount of meat. Okay. Now, wash my hands off just real quick. I don't know why I'm doing that. Right. Get a little bit of tin foil, not much. This meat is pretty much already ready to go, but I'd like to give it just a little bit more. Um, kind of actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add something to that. Spicy, but I like that. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, just a dab. Um, just a dab. And then just a pinch of cayenne. I like I like my food spicy. So you get that right there. Mix that up. It's all kind of mixed in there real good. So you got all that mixed up. Give it a good fold and let it nice and seal. Now we're gonna put that in the oven for about uh, about 10 minutes on 300 degrees. Okay, so we got that in the oven. I'm gonna show you the uh, next very important step. We got ourselves some bread and cheese here, and I'm. Absolutely horrified to say that I do not have uh, just a block of cheese. Some uh, bottle tops here. A block of cheese that I can that I can cut up uh, to kind of add to this. So uh, just gonna go ahead while the uh, squirrels in the oven. Remember, 300 degrees for about uh, 10 minutes. Just gonna give that a little bit of time. Let that kind of toast up, and uh, we'll get back to it as soon as they're both done. <clears throat> All right, guys. This is about done. Eh, not super toasted, but that'll be all right. This uh, bird over here. Head on over here. I'm going to go ahead and put that down right there. Now this part. I need an extra plate. Put that right there. Love here. Ah, this thing's gonna go crazy. Alright. We've got that in there for about 10 minutes. We're gonna pull it out. It's gonna be nice and hot. So we obviously don't wanna touch it just yet. Alright, we'll go ahead and set this up. downside is that this was a small squirrel. I had a little bit of barbecue sauce. And some barbecue. There we go. Little barbecue sauce. Got ourselves our fork here. Kinda mix around in there, get it nice and uh, good. See if you can see that. Kinda toss it around. 
Okay, good. Now here's the sad part because there is so little on here. So little on the squirrel, but that does not mean that this will not be absolutely delicious. A little bit of meat, but absolutely delicious. Kind of spread that around. Obviously, you get guys. When, whenever you're doing this, you either want to get two small squirrels or uh, one big one for somebody, for one person. Now, I'm gonna need one more thing for me. I'm a mustard man. Let's put some mustard on there. Now, got my sandwich. Got my uh, jalapeno chips. As I said, I am a, uh, I'm a, I like spicy stuff. Got myself a water bottle. You guys, you got yourself a good barbecue sandwich. That's the way to do it, right there. So when you guys are thinking about what to do with your uh, squirrel, You have yourself a barbecue squirrel sandwich. Can't beat them. I always have some chips. A good drink to go with it. And be set. I can eat this all day, every day. Excellent stuff. Alright, guys. Well, go out and get your own squirrel, make your own sandwich, and uh, let me know how it goes. Alright, see y'all.